Hey guys, I'm Justin. And I'm Eliza. And today we're going to talk about bathrooms. So, in one of our uh, recent episodes of SOL, we had a discussion with Liza about washing your hands. And in there, she brought up how she doesn't use public bathrooms. And that was kind of the catalyst to this whole conversation, so... I, I mean, I wouldn't say I don't use them. I just, like, use them when absolutely necessary. <laughs> but I'll still use them. I so just, literally, you're going to be like, I gotta use the bathroom. Like, I, it's at a point where I'm like, yeah, I can't hold it anymore. I gotta yep. go. Yeah, okay. that's, so I'll use them. It's just I have a whole process around using them, but okay. Wait, there's a process? This is news. This is new. I like having these conversations. There's a process. So go walk me through your process. What is step one? Kicking the door open with your foot? <laughs> I don't touch the door with my hands. I will use my, uh, hopefully it's a pushy door and I can just use my elbows to open it. Step one. This is why I struggle using cotton code bathrooms because the process is so long that it just like annoys me. So I'd rather just like not go if I don't have to. I mean, it doesn't have to be because you are going to be washing your hands immediately after. So no. pushing the door open doesn't really make I don't need difference. to get, because I'm going to use that hand to grab <laughs> toilet paper that's then going to touch my Stuff, so whatever. Anyway, so my process what you is were say. I go into mm, the stuff. <laughs> stuff. My stuff. My so I use my elbow to open the door. I always get the stall closest to the door. So if it's not available, I immediately get a little eh. Because that's the Why? least that's the least used stall statistically. So I always think it's gonna be typically <sighs> the cleanest, also the less germy. That's also not true. Mythbusters did that. I'm gonna say I disagree because I feel like they did do it, and the, the one closest to the door is the one least used. I thought. Uh, I thought we'll have to look at. We'll up. have to watch that one now too. We'll watch, we'll that, watch that one, that but one. I'm pretty positive that that was tested. I have to have a buffer, so uh, so if somebody's in a stall, it needs to be a buffer stall, or else I'm immediately uncomfortable. Uh, so there's a lot to it. I told you the process. So I do the buffer stall. Uh, once I get into the bathroom, I have to layer the toilet like with. So, so I have to wipe first because I never trust like what's on there. So I wipe first, then I layer, double layer, because our toilet paper is not very, you know, multiple ply. <laughs> it's very thin. So yeah. two layers, each one, front, back, side. Do my business. Then I make sure to buckle before I flush. Because <laughs> then you're touching the flushy thing and then you're buckling. Okay. I'd rather have my germs than someone else's germs, and then I wash my hands. And my hands have to be washed at least two to three times with soap before I. Two to three times? Pump, pump, wash, 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 pump, pump, wash, wash, wash. Depending how weird I feel. Okay, so let me <laughs> let me start from the beginning of that. Just, I thought just, it was just, no, it's just. Well, it's not. <laughs> but <laughs> I know there's people out there who are like, I'm right with her. I layer that toilet paper, bro, whatever. Uh, and they're getting help. No. <laughs> I am getting help. So so. <laughs> Right off the bat, opening the door with your elbow. Yeah. What does that do? Because now the germs are just on your shirt, which is also touching you. But my shirt doesn't touch my food, doesn't touch my face. I don't go like this ever. I'm always like this though. You don't right? cough into your arm? You're messed no. up. I mean, I cough into my arm, but it's not like, it's usually like, <laughs> like I do this for Well, that's your arm, wrist. Like no, my... it's just a cough into here. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I heard it from the president. <laughs> All right, so that was step, step one. Uh, Step two, your buffer issue is... It's not an issue. That's why? Well, why is it an issue for you? Like, what okay. about having someone next to you in a stall? Like, I can understand if you're like... If you're like maybe doing a number two and... I don't it's ever noise, number two. And like, you might think somebody's maybe trying to see who it is or no. something. <laughs> and they see the shoes and they're like, oh, those are Liza's <laughs> shoes. Like, my shoes are pretty, yeah, no. Because I, I, you know, sometimes you're in the bathroom and you make a noise and you're like, oh, no, they know it's me now. <laughs> <laughs> so first but, of all, I will never go number two with somebody else in the bathroom. Ever. Plus, first of all, I barely ever go number two, ever, unless it's like dire need and I'll like... Swap? But yes, the buffer issue is primarily because, so I'm... You're afraid they're going to ask you for toilet paper? No, like this what? is again, it's a germ thing, and plus it also has to do a little bit of my weight. So I'm a chubbier person, mm -hmm. right? No, no hidden secret there. So what happens, <laughs> is, 
So what happens is I have a problem with my pants or my belt hitting the floor. I immediately feel like there's gonna be germs like on my stuff. Okay. So I need to like have my legs a little bit more spread apart to make sure they don't hit the floor. Okay. So in order for me to do that, my legs kind of almost go underneath somebody else's stall. So I always feel that uncomfortableness. Like I think they're like, why is your foot like almost at my How? stall? <laughs> Cause I'm chubby. I don't have a lot of space well, in no, that area. No. So I'm, just like, I'm, I'm questioning how like high up your, your the, the dividers are. Cause like I can, I can go like this in the stall and I can like hit I mean, the divider stops like mid calf on me. So. It does, but your foot is still kind of like in somebody oh, else's oh, stall. Oh, you're like, okay. It's right. not like so my leg. Like, I wasn't even like, hey guys, what's up? My leg. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah, right, just right. my foot. Like, you can start to see my foot like about to go into your stall. Not, I mean, not all the way in. I'm not like, like you know, Yokozuma, but it's still. <laughs> that's what the buffer is. Okay, all right. The so that's, that's the buffer. Um, and then the, the layering of the toilet seat. Yeah, that's. So. There's two things with that. One, a toilet seat is supposed to be antibacterial, so no bacteria is supposed to be able to grow on it. I don't believe And two, um, the toilet paper is also in the bathroom the whole time. So there's germs on the toilet paper, so layering it down doesn't do anything except... But the toilet paper creates a buffer between my legs and the legs in other parts of people that I want nowhere near my body. That's more what it is than like a germ, too much germ either. So, Cause so, I feel like at least, so the germs, at least the germs on the toilet paper are kind of like a ricochet of what happened in the bathroom. <laughs> Whereas like the long-term application of somebody's body imprint on the toilet is a lot more grosser to me than so, the toilet paper. So what if, it's, what, what if the toilet seat's warm? That, oh god, oh, <laughs> I would never know because I toilet paper it. The only time I, oh, I have a problem with this warm, regular meeting room seats. When I go into a meeting room uh, and the seat is warm, I immediately swap sides. I'm like, no, I'm not sitting on the right, chair. That right. is way too much body heat for me to feel comfortable with. <laughs> okay. But I won't, like there are times where I won't have enough time to toilet paper because I waited too long to go. So if I really, really gotta go, then I'll just do the hover. But that one's so tough because sometimes I know. Like, I've heard the hover is very tough. If I you have. can't hover right, man, you're peeing down your I, leg. I <laughs> agree that, that, that when it comes to that kind of stuff, you know, women probably have it a little bit rougher. Oh, we deal with splashback though. Oh, oh, oh. We have to deal with splashback. What does that mean? So when you're I mean, at I know a, what it means. When you're at a urinal, if you don't oh. aim right, you get splashback. Why? Why? Why well, would you struggle to aim right? There's a point where you. Well, there's so so. Think of think of a urinal. It's like you know this this tall. You saying urinal? Urinal. Oh, say it. Urinal. Oh okay. I think you said urinal. Urinal. Like, no, so I it's know. they're they actually they might be a little bigger. But so you aim you you don't aim directly in the water because there's only a little bit of water and that it instantly splashes back. But you can't aim too high on the wall either because the higher you go, the more likely it's going to come back at you. So you have to get like that perfect, there's some that have like little seashells at like the perfect spot. I'm not kidding. That's on urinals. You say urinals. Yeah, you are urinals. not saying I. You are not saying the I in there. Uh, is there an say I? Say it faster. Is there urinals. Urinals. No, it's urinals. 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 You... Are you guys hearing this? Is it just me? Let me know in the comments. Are you hearing him say urinal? Why are you pointing up here Is he saying urinal? No, let us know in the I. Here's a poll. We're going to put a poll up. Is he saying urinal or urinal? Urinal. I, I'm hearing urinal. Okay. I don't care what you're hearing. I'm saying urinal. So let's go back to this. So, let's go back to this. Um, I'm a man. Let me find some no, way to get like. No, 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 no. Like, I'm just letting you know <laughs> that you have the squat because you know you don't want to touch the toilet seat and they're very gross. I understand that, but we deal with splashback. Yeah, pooping in public stalls is not my thing. I just emergencies only. Let's find out what. Uh, what Tom does when he has to poop, huh? Maybe, uh... What does he do when he has to poop? Yeah, maybe it'll be interesting, you know? Maybe what does out. Tom do when he has to poop? Is that the question we're gonna ask him right now? Yeah. What kind of a response would you expect to that? Before I go poop, I have to think about it for at least 10 minutes. That way really gets the gut going, you know? Breathe in. Breathe out. And... I've learned things today. Ah, boy. More and we hope you have too. <laughs> Here at SOL, that's our entire goal, I think. I don't know what our goal is anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe.
subscribe button. Watch the videos here. It's taking up more than 20 seconds. Alright, bye! I know you had a thing with me earlier. Do we need to put a poll for those two men? It's the end part of the You're done.